Alrighty, what's going on there folks? It is Earthmaster here on the live stream on this beautiful Thursday evening, August 12th, 2021, about 9.36 p.m. West Coast time here in California, getting a little late update going, but man, what a crazy day in the earthquake department with a massive amount of earthquakes taking place around the South Sandwich Islands. Uh, latest quake on the globe is going to be picking up here uh, a little bit of pressure increase along the west coast and the north american plate pacific plate 3.5 in alaska for the uh, most recent quake here on the globe let's go and check out some specifics of what's going on down there in the scotia sea the scotia plate area if you look at the dynamics of it man it is huge compared to subduction zones um, you know, Perugelli Trench has a pretty good, uh, big size one. <clears throat> this one's kind of short, but man, is it in detail. Uh, you can see this trench in some very um, well-defined features here. And man, we're pretty much covering the entire subduction zone with earthquakes today, uh, except for this northern part. Kind of watching this too. We haven't seen too much migration to the north of the main earthquake, which was a 7.5 earthquake originally 7.6 uh, downgraded by the USGS right the downgrading uh, kings <laughs> uh, so migration most of the aftershocks have not been even around the 7.5 it's been well to the south and we've even seen a major cluster of some pretty large quakes here um, a couple hundred kilometers away uh, if you look up here and look at this uh, this little feature down here, the time, or not time, but um, a scale. Uh, when it comes to distance here, we're looking at, uh, oh, I don't know, a good 300 kilometers away or so, 350. St spanning, and if you want to include this activity up here, we're talking about 350, 400 uh, kilometers. And that's some significant movement along almost in the, the entire subduction zone of this plate interface here. You got the uh, Antarctica plate here to the south, um, South America plate up here to the north, this plate boundary, Scotia plate, little plate, but man, is it well-defined. Um, I'm not for sure the largest earthquake possible on this fault system here, uh, but I know that historically they have been, they have seen uh, some larger quakes uh, within the past. And... Um, 7.0 to 8.0 magnitude quakes here but I'm, I'm guessing you know we, we could be looking at something building up here significantly uh, with all of this earthquake activity we're talking 46 large earthquakes just today since that uh, 7.5 hit earlier today let's see what we had prior to that there wasn't much at least over the last 24 hours if we go back uh I know we did have some over here to the east, some to the west of here. Let's check that out real quick. Uh, there's a little bit up to the north inland. Uh, this was some deeper movement, 100, uh, uh, well below 120 kilometers uh, within the subduction zone. And it had a little bit of activity here to the south as well. There's the activity to the east. Uh, kind of watching that uh, a couple days ago. It was a pretty good swarm of activity, right? Had quite a few fives there kicking off. I thought, man something's going on we got to watch this i think i did an update video about it about uh, earthquake activity increasing in the antarctica region antarctica of course sits down here um so this here was a few days ago but within a week's time frame uh this here was a few days ago as well and the other earthquake activity um just kind of an impending sign of uh something major brewing down here and no doubt uh, that was released today but I don't think we're done. I mean, when you look at the amount of earthquakes that are taking place on a broad scale, not just confined to, a, to you know, say 50, 70 kilometers around the main quake, I could understand that, but we're not seeing that. We're seeing hundreds of kilometers of migration of large earthquakes from the main 7.5. Now that tells me right there that we could be looking at something much bigger popping up here in this region. There's all the earthquakes. Um, what I say? Well, it's the, uh, yeah, 46. Let's see what we got as far as the largest one. I know we had quite a few sixes in there as well. Um, with this cluster of uh, quakes, there's 6.2, 6.0. A 
couple almost sixes there uh, north of the north of the 7.5 so yeah that's a whole lot of movement folks if I seen that somewhere building up doesn't matter where on earth sometimes we see um, earthquakes spread out quite a bit here through the Samoa uh, and this little plate uh, horseshoe type deal stretching down to New Zealand this this is pretty active all the time but man if I see something like this building up you know there's uh, there's definitely some some uh, major movement and pressure that's been adjusted down there uh, with that 7.5 I think it applied a heck of a lot of pressure into this region so that's kind of why I'm uh, looking at potentially for something a little bit larger on the magnitude scale here in this area so we'll keep our eyes open for that pretty closely uh, we did see some uh, movement ramping up since then well there's a 5.4 just kicking off in China right now um, yeah, 5.4 striking in the China area, the latest quake on the globe. But we have seen some movement up here in the Alaska region and the West Coast kicking up um, following that 7.5 and the most of the activity occurring within the last hour. There's a little earthquake uh, 3.5 in the Gulf. Pretty shallow movement, but also some activity ramping up around the 8.2 area uh, that struck there a few days. Uh, I don't know when it was a few days ago, a week ago or so now. I don't remember exactly. It's been a, uh, well, I kind of just disappeared. Okay, it's been over a week, I guess. Been over a week, um, but definitely some increase in activity as far as the aftershock sequences go in that region. Uh, an impending sign of uh, increased pressure in this area as well. Uh, Gorda Ridge has seen some heightened earthquake activity. Some deeper movement as well um, into the Northern California region. Uh, of Petrolia, uh, west southwest of Petrolia, and also a little earthquake here uh, near Willows. Been kind of watching that here as well into the Sacramento Valley. Been seeing some deeper movement here into the valley, uh, northern Sacramento Valley area. Uh, I think that's got to do with the uh, subduction of the Juan de Fuca plate, kind of the southern end of it, branches down here a little bit. Uh, and of course, the further inland you go, the further deep down the plate subducts. Just check the trimmer department while we're on it real quick. Um, see what we got, 35 epicenters scattered out and about. There's a movement into the northern Sacramento Valley. Uh, some trimmer taking place down below the Willows area. That would explain some of the larger, mag uh, the larger uh, magnitude, not really large, but uh, compared to um, the trimmer magnitude energy, a 2.8 is a little bit larger than that. Um, so we've seen some movement over here along the southern end, but a little bit further west. Don't really see too too much movement here in this area. So that's kind of kind of a little surprising to see there. Um, also, southern Oregon and the central part of Oregon getting in on some of the central part. Far as like I shouldn't say central because that's not Bend. Should say the uh, central coast area getting in on some of the uh, trimmer as well. We're looking at uh, 30, well, 35 epicenters, but it's on a broad scale. So uh, I think most of this has occurred um, after that, uh, after the 7.5 that struck uh, earlier today. Uh, getting back to the action here in California, the all magnitudes map. Let's go ahead and bring that up here. See, we did have some increase in activity in the Antelope Valley area since that 7.5, uh, including a 3.3. Uh, All of this activity occurring following the 7.5 once again. Uh, some movement down south here as well into uh, parts of the uh, Riverside region, 2.5 near Fontana, kind of towards the concrete jungles of LA, Rancho Cucamonga, Ontario sits over here as well. A lot of people reporting that on social media, that it felt stronger than a 2.5 read quite a few responses there uh, let's see what else we got here so definitely some movement heightened up here in Southern California that's off of the uh, San Andreas fault sits right over here that's a major plate boundary uh, I don't really see anything specific in here it looks like the uh, what is that the Red Hill let's see if I can get that to key up here Red Hill 
fault system. I know there's some other ones that run through here, uh, but they're not showing it here on the USGS map. Uh, San Jacinto fault area seen some activity as well ramping up. Uh, but overall, I think we've definitely seen a heightened increase in activity along the North American plate since that 7.5 kind of pushed things into motion. Uh, southeast flank of Hawaii seen uh, kind of looks like a little bit above average here for their daily earthquake activity at 33 kilometers or so for the majority of these quakes. Uh, some movement up around the uh, Kilauea volcano as well. 1.8 uh, looks like the latest. Oh, uh, well, actually 1.9 down here. Either way, uh, kind of ramping up a little bit in the earthquake department on the big island as well. Going to have to see what happens with this, uh, all this movement down south here. General plate movement kind of pushes everything here to the west, uh, which would include further uh, movement and, and uh, increase in pressure here along the subduction zone. I mean, that thing is well defined. I wouldn't doubt it if we could see something much larger than the uh, 7.5 that struck here. Uh, so I will be keeping a very close eye on that uh, overnight and tomorrow. Yellowstone National Park, folks, pretty quiet. No doom and gloom, no major volcanic eruption in our future. Well, maybe in the future, no doubt. We know that this thing's going to pop. But uh, as of right now, I don't see any impending signs. Uh, this activity is not a localized earthquake, but it is that 7.5 that struck down in the South Sandwich Islands. Way, way far away from the Yellowstone National Park, but no doubt definitely being picked up by this sensitive equipment uh, called a seismograph. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Have a good night. We will be keeping an eye on things. Uh, stay safe out there. Getting kind of crazy in this world. Hope everyone has a great night, and we will chat you guys a little bit later. Peace.